So definitely not 100% better, but well enough to sit here and talk about the e-leaf basil with you guys today. Alright guys, yes, today's video is on the e-leaf basil and let me tell you, I am in love. Now I actually couldn't get my mom to come on and do this video with me because the basil or basil, I'm not sure how you say it, say it how you want, is textured. So it has like this and you'll be able to see it in a close-up, but it has like this texture which I love that feeling like I think it feels cool like a record or something but mom cannot she has like sensitivities to feelings like to cotton balls rubbing together or this kind of material so she was like can't I can't hold it so I thought I'd come on here and do this real quick because honestly I am in love with this super slim super aesthetic little mod that's perfect for me because I don't vape at a high wattage but let's dive down close I'll show you guys what comes in the kit and how to use the device now it does come in this rose gold color which is almost kind of coppery looking to me as well as a gold and silver color and I also have one for a giveaway for you guys on this video so stay tuned for that all right here is the packaging that the e-leaf basil comes in Ooh, here is my rose gold one. OMG. This is so thin. Gorgeous. I love this texture too. Here is the newly designed all stainless steel GS basil tank. Well, we need a drip tip on there. Underneath that is all the goodies. We have the micro USB to USB charge cable used to charge the 1,500 milliamp hour battery. We have a bag full of accessories that has the drip tip in it, some extra O-rings, and another GS Air coil. And I still don't know what this piece is, and it's come in a lot of e-leaf kits. I have no idea. This coil is a 1.5 ohm, good between 8 and 20 watts. And we have a quick start guide for the tank and the mod. Here is the GS basil tank it does have adjustable airflow here at the bottom it does kind of give me retro vibes with this drip tip and how small it is and the fact that it is a bottom fill tank so to fill it you have to remove the bottom here is the coil that it's installed with we have a 0.75 ohm good up to 25 watts and I noticed that the tank tube is tinted to sort of match this color I'm gonna go ahead and fill this up with one of my faves right now which is the raspberry mocha whip by Kai's virgin vapor all right got that filled up so here is the mod oh my god I'm kind of in love with how thin it is how sleek it looks so we have the 510 connection at the top this is only 15 millimeters wide by 36.6 six millimeters and with the tank attached it is a hundred and twenty eight point five millimeters tall weighing about 144.6 grams this tank does hold 1.8 mils of e-liquid so it is tpd compliant the resistance range you should have on here is between 0.6 ohm and 3 ohms but just oh my gosh look at it it's so gorgeous so we have the fire button of course the up and down buttons the display screen and on the bottom we have the charge port here it does say e-leaf basil on the side and i'm just like oh, i'm in love with it so one two three four five clicks to turn it on then you can see the screen displays the power mode the power level the ohms in the battery life but you can also have it display the voltage or the puffs or the seconds you can adjust the power level by 0.1 increments using the up and down buttons if you press and hold the plus and minus button at the same time you will lock the device and you cannot adjust the power level but you can still fire it and it does have a seconds counter when you fire it press and hold those two buttons again to unlock press and hold the down and fire button at the same time to enter stealth mode to turn stealth mode off press and hold those same buttons again press and hold the up and fire button at the same time to enter the menu to change the interface display so you can see that it's flashing so you can switch and have it display that way where it shows you the puffs that way where it gives you the seconds counter 
or that way where it gives you the voltage of the battery. And then you just press the fire button to select. This is a 30 watt max device, so it's definitely used for lower wattage vaping. Do you want to vape? Do you want to vape it? All right guys, that was the E-Leaf Basil. I'm definitely gonna be using this a lot more and honestly, I feel like I wish, that, I wish so bad that the tank wasn't this far protruding if it was like down in like an all-in-one because this would replace my love for the penguin because it is so beautiful looking. Whereas I love the penguin, I love the dolphin, but they're plastic so they're not as, you know, nice looking. They feel kind of cheap, but they vape great and they're my favorite type of vapes. But this is just so pretty. And the mod is small enough to where having the tank stick out and having the mod isn't really bothering me that much, but only slightly. You can see it's producing a great cloud, even though we have a 0.7 ohm, so it's a higher ohm. I usually vape 0.5 or like 0.2. This does have dual circuit protection for overcharging, overcurrent, and over discharging. So I will leave a link below where you can check this out for yourself, but I'd love to hear what your guys' thoughts are. This is relatively new, so I don't think it's available on any of the websites that I typically shop at, but mostly available on the sites based in China. So if you order it there, it's definitely going to be cheaper, but it's going to take a little bit longer to get to your door. Clouds, bitch. And if you want to win a basil kit for yourself, just check the description box below for all the important giveaway details. And yesterday marked my five years on YouTube, so I'm going to be doing a special little giveaway for you guys over on the community tab here on YouTube. So if you're not aware, there is a community tab on my channel profile that you can go to and see like different posts from me, and I will be doing the giveaway over there instead of in a video. But that's it for the video. I hope you guys enjoyed, and if you did, give it a thumbs up and feel free to subscribe to this channel for more videos. Check the description box below for important links like where to get my favorite things like e-liquids, mods, etc. You can follow me on almost any social media site like Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, or Snapchat. All those social media links will be below. I also started a Patreon account where I'm doing vape-related monthly rewards over there where you can get e-liquids sent to you monthly from me or a mod or both. So if that's something that might interest you, you can check the link below as well. And one more thing before you go, if vaping is something you're passionate about, please learn how you can fight for your right to vape. So as always, I'm Tia and thank you so much for watching.